Mystical Love and Light here. This is going to be a working that I will show you how to do. This is a buzz off unwanted person or persons. We are going to start off with cleansing the area. Love the way sage smells. Okay. And we will light our working candle. Now, the ingredients that I will be using in this is a black candle. You can use a black candle of any size. We will be using three drops of bergamot essential oil. We will be using three drops of clove essential oil. We will be using two drops of uh, black pepper essential oil. We will be using two to six drops of canola oil carrier. And that's all I need is what is in there in the very bottom. Don't need very much because we're just going to use it to anoint this black candle. We are going to be using 10 whole black peppers. These here. And we will be using the um, just a tad bit of the Rusty Railroad Spike Shavings. Okay. Now the, um, the uh, Bergamot is for commanding the person or persons. The um, Clove is for breaking hexes and dispelling a negative person, their negative energies around you. The black pepper also for getting rid of their bad energies. The black peppers we're going to be crushing in the mortal pestle. And that is because the, we're going to use it for the iron. The iron here is to keep negative away, to banish them, to banish them away from you, from your life. And we're going to use all of this. We're going to put the oils in here to anoint the black candle. We are going to do this on a uh, full moon. Well, no, 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 no. We're going to do this when it's not a full moon we're going to do it on a saturday so the darker the moon the better the darker the outside the better okay so we will start off with the uh three drops of bergamot We are going to use the three drops of the clove. Okay. 
and as the drops go in, I am putting my intentions into it. I am visualizing what I want. I want that person to go away, just to get away from me, to buzz off. You're not wanted. Just get the hell away from me. This is one of those workings that you're not wanting to harm them, but you've just pretty much had it. You don't want nothing to do with the person or persons. You just want them gone. Um, the black pepper, I'm going to use the two drops. I am putting my energy. I am visualizing what I want. If it helps you to close your eyes to visualize better, by all means do that. This is the canola oil. I have a brand new deal over there, but I don't need it. All I need is very little because we're just going to anoint that candle. You're going to anoint a big, huge candle. Then mom means use more. You want to get rid of a person. It doesn't matter if they're a so-called friend. You know those friends that they're friends to your face and then behind their back they're lying and talking shit about you. You know they're not your friend. Those uh, ex-lovers, ex-boyfriends ex-husbands that does the same they act like they're good to your face when you know that the reason they're an ex is for a very good reason what about those bosses those no good bad bosses I'm not talking about the bosses that are doing their job and having you do your job I'm talking about you know, those really bad bosses. We've all had them before in our lives. And I'm sure a lot of you right now have some in your lives. Same way with family members. Don't exclude family members. Some of people, I'm, I'm lucky with my family members. Some of those people have really, really sorry family members that just needs to get lost they need to forget about you. They need to forget about where you live at. You know, those people. This is the working that you need. Right now, my whole palm of my hands and my fingertips are just tingling. So you want them just to get the hell away from you, to leave you alone. You want to banish them out of your life. Okay, now we'll get me a paper towel here because I will be needing it here in just a minute. What we are going to do with the mortal pestle is we're going to get the whole uh, peppers. You want 10 of them. Why 10? I don't know. That's just what my guides are telling me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And we will put these back. Because all I need is ten. If my guides tell me a certain amount, that's what I use. If you are fixing to do this working, and you're following my instructions, my directions, and you're fixing to put 10 in, and then all of a sudden you think, huh, I think 
seven will work better. Then you do it. If your guides are leading you to put a different amount in, you follow your instincts on what your guide is telling you. If that little thought is in the back of your head, they're telling you something different. So you listen to them. Now I'm going to get some shavings. Now I don't have these on my Etsy, but I do have a lot of them. They are for sale. Not the one I'm fixing to use, but I do have a whole box of them. And I actually got them, even though I'm in Tennessee now, I got them when I was in Texas. And you are just going to, you want a lot of the rust in it. Remember, this is the iron is to keep the negative away, to banish them, to banish whoever you were wanting to banish, whether it's one person or several people. This can be, you don't have to do this for each individual person. If it's two or three people at your work that you want to banish them away from you, your work, you just don't even want to deal with them, banish them. Banish them to the other side of the store or something. Just get them the hell away from you. This is what you want to do. you are going to do is now I just have the foil here so it's easier for the cleanup afterwards so you're not having to scrape your plate and scratch your plate all up and you want to use the oil And I used all the oil, and I'll roll it all in there in just a little bit. I don't need that anymore. And you've got your black peppers and your rusty iron in here. I'm going to crush this up. And remember, as you are doing stuff, as you are pouring your oil over, as you are um, crushing this up, you are putting your intentions and visualizing it. Now, if I weren't on camera and not talking, I would be concentrating, putting everything in. But I'm trying to explain to you how to do this. I've got some pretty powerful energy and intentions and visualization. So it doesn't take much for me to put in what I need. As you can see. It's all crushed. I'm going to use my selenite stick. Mix this all up. As I've explained before, some people will take it up. Some people will take it down. When I'm anointing, I'm just kind of anointing everything. Then at the very end, I want all of my intentions. I want it to go up. I want it to go to the flame. And I want it to go up to be carried up into the universe. For my intentions to be carried up into the universe, into the ether. Next, I will sprinkle the black pepper and the rusty iron railroad spike. You can see it. And 
I will kind of wipe my hands off so that it's not getting my lighter or oily. It's bad enough in trying to turn this thing on with this childproof safety thing on it. Remember, never, ever, ever leave your candles unattended. Never. Under any circumstances. If it's an emergency, you put out the candle. Do not blow the candle out. If you blow the candle out, you've just done away with your working. I'm going to kind of curl this a little bit so it's not... trying to come up from the weight. You put out your candle if you have to. By snuffing it out, you don't blow it out. My video cut off. So you are putting your energy, your intentions, visualize the outcome of how it is. You are going to light your candle. And you are going to be doing your prayer as you are putting your energy in. You can call it a prayer, you can call it a chant, whatever it is you want to call it. Remember, you are banishing them out of your life. I banish, you say the name of who you're banishing. I banish that person out of my life. Picture that person in your head. You no longer want them around you. You want them gone. Get rid of them. They are not important in your life. They are causing you heartache. They are causing you sorrow. They are causing you headaches. They are causing you night after night after night of sleepless time that you've lost they just need to be gone they just need to get the fuck out of your life that's all there is to it you say what you need to say you say it how you need to say it I banish them from my life I banish them from my life you are no longer wanted in my life. Just get the hell away from me. Just be gone. I want you rid of being in my circle. You put your energy into it. Visualize the outcome. Visualize as if it already is. Visualize your daily life without that person in it. Visualize you sleeping very good. Getting plenty of rest now that they are gone. If this person works with you, they are no longer going to be around you. Visualize them working on the other side of the building in another office, in another department. Be gone. You are no longer wanted. 
I want you out of my life. You are no longer in my life. You are no longer in my life. You are no longer in my life. So mote it be. You let it burn down. When it's burned down, you take the remainder. If there's anything left, you take it and you go throw it outside in the garbage. Because that's what they are to you now. They're garbage. They're gone. The trash man is going to come pick them up and take them away. They are no longer important in your life. Thank you for watching. This is Mystical Love and Light.